Right, I think it's time for another example, so here goes, here's example number two. Okay, so in this case we're going to solve, so solve uh, the trigonometric equation and in this case our range, so our range is going to be uh, all of the theta angles between 0 and 360 degrees and we're going to solve cos 2 theta that is equal to 1 over square root of 2. So the idea with this one is, so remember, so if I go back uh, back to, uh, let, me, let me just give you the idea, so my idea is if you have an angle which is not one theta or one x, use a substitution, okay? So choose a letter, any letter you like. Uh, I tend to use T. So the idea is I'm going to let T equal two theta, okay, as my substitution. And my equation will become cos T equals one over root two. So the idea is to find all of the T values first or the T angles first. And since t equals 2 theta, to find the theta angles, we'll divide all of the t angles by 2. Okay, so let me show you the method. So the method is the same as before, but in step number 1, let me let t equal 2 theta. So my equation becomes cos t equals 1 over root 2. So let me make a note that the 1 over root 2 is positive. So when it comes to calculating the principal value, it will be the inverse cos of 1 over root 2. And that is a standard result that should give you 45 degrees. So that is your principal value, your PV. Okay. Now, in step 2, it's the cast diagram, so it's cast diagram time. So we need to plot 45 degrees where cos is positive. So let's draw our cast diagram. Okay, so um, I think a ruler is in order. Let me fetch a ruler. Have one somewhere. Oh, here it is. So let me draw the quadrants on my diagram and let's label these quadrants so A, S, T and C and remember 45 degrees where cos is positive cos is positive in the first and fourth quadrants and remember bearing in mind we're measuring the angles from the horizontal so in the first quadrant quadrant 1 45 from the horizontal is this line so let's mark that on our diagrams and in quadrant 4 45 from the horizontal so from the horizontal is this line so let's work out the solutions for t remember these are the solutions for t so therefore solutions for t are so the first solution T1 measured from our initial line until we hit the first line. Okay, so let me use a red pen. That is the angle that we're after. So that is 45 degrees. And the second solution being T2, again from the initial line in the anticlockwise direction until we hit that second line. So that being 360 minus 45 degrees. Okay. So one revolution minus this acute angle of 45 degrees. So in this case, you're going to get 315 degrees. Okay, so 315 degrees. Okay, so we're not done. We're not done by all means. So we're not done. Um, it is better, it's better to calculate more angles or more solutions for T because bearing in mind this substitution, 
So bearing in mind this substitution t equals 2 theta, to work out theta, we'll be calculating t divided by 2. And we remember the range also, so keep this in your mind. That our angles should lie between 0 and 360, i.e. the angles for theta. Okay, so let's calculate some more. T3, so T3 will be one complete revolution plus this acute angle of 45. So 360 plus 45, that is 405 degrees. And if you think about it, 405 divided by 2, so remember to calculate theta you need to divide the T solutions by 2, that is 202.5. So I think another one, uh, just to be on the safe side, so T4 will be 360, so that is one revolution, plus the angle from the initial line up to the second line again, and we calculated that here, 315 degrees. So plus 315 degrees, okay? So in this case, um, we're going to have 675, so 675 degrees. So these are the two uh, T solutions. And if you think about it, 675 divided by 2, so that is 337.5, um, and that angle is within that range. So that is a T angle, uh, the theta angle, which is within that range. Okay, so I think these values of T are more than enough. We don't need to calculate another one. So in that case, let's go to, so that is step three to calculate our T solutions because in step four, we need the theta solutions. So remember what I said, go to your substitution here so since t equals 2 theta, that means theta will be t divided by 2. So we need to divide all of our t solutions by 2. So firstly, when uh, t1 is 45 degrees, theta1 will be t1 divided by 2. t1 is 45 degrees over 2. So that being 22.5 degrees. So that is the first solution for theta one. Yep, the first solution for theta one. So when, let's continue, T2, T2 is 315. Theta two will be T2 over two. So that is 315 divided by two. So that is 157.5, okay? So that is theta two. Let's continue. So when, let me squeeze it here. T3 is 405 degrees. Theta three is T3 over two. So it's 405 over two that amounts to 202.5 degrees. Okay, so again, remember, this value is theta, theta three is within our range, okay, between 360 and zero. So let's end with the last value. So let me go to the other side of the page. So when T4, T4 was 675, I believe. Let's have a quick double check. Yes, it is 675. So theta 4 will be T4 over 2. So 675 over 2. So that being 337.5. Okay, so that is the last solution for theta. So as you can see, this one together with the other uh, solutions for theta, all comfortable, all within our range, okay? So here are the steps. So whenever you have an angle which is not one theta or one x, use a substitution. So in my case, I'm comfortable with T, but you can use any letter you like, okay? 
So here are the steps. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.